if you had this molecule, how would you um, change it to make a resonance structure? So for this, whenever you have a charge, that usually indicates that you can um, move these lone pairs and make a double bond somewhere. So let's just make a double bond here, right? The thing is, when, if we made a double bond right here and didn't do anything, um, we'd actually have uh, break the octet rule here. Um, so this is actually a two-step process where we move the double bond here, right? We move the lone pair here to make a double bond and then move the double bond to make a lone pair. So to show the picture of that, right? Let's show the picture. Um, this is actually two step is you move the lone pair here, make a dull one, and then move this dull one and make a lone pair. And then that would make transfer the negative charge here to here. Um, so th that's very hard to see. So I drew out all the carbons and hydrogens to make it easier. So we can uh, see why this has a negative charge when we write out everything because if we count if we calculate the formal charge Which is where you count up the bonds and the lone pairs um, It'll be one two three four five right and carbon if you look at its group it's group four So five minus four will be or I'm sorry four minus five will be negative one so um, since carbons in group four you have that group number, 4 minus whatever you count up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So that's our negative charge here. But over here, right? Over here, we only have 1, one 2, 3, 4. Right? This is the arrow. Um, so we only have 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0, and that's why we have a 0 charge here. Now, let's just say that I moved this lone pair right here, and I didn't get rid of this dull bond. I just kept it right there what would happen? So we would have an extra um, bond right here, right? So let's count that up. Uh, we, we, would, uh, we would have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons. And that would break the octet rule. So because right now, right, um, uh, you have to remember that the, the lines represent two electrons, but when you're calculating formal charge, you count it as one. Um, but you also have to always remember to not break the octet rule. And a general um, rule is that carbon can only form four bonds, right? So one, two, three, four. It can only form four bonds. So if you move this lone pair and see five bonds, you, you should know that that's wrong. Um, and so all I did was do a two-step um, conversion, which is I moved the lone pair right here, made a double bond, uh, moved the double bond here, and made a lone pair. And there, and then so now this will be zero charge, and this will be a negative charge, because if we calculate the formal charge here, it would be the same as here: one, two, three, four, five. Four minus five is negative one, and therefore the charge has transferred. And this is these two would be the resonance structures of this molecule. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.